If you're a small business owner looking to run Facebook ads, or maybe you're trying to manage several people on your Facebook ads account or Instagram account, you're gonna wanna set up a business manager account. In this video, I'm gonna show you how, so stick around. Okay, my name is Kevin Shragi. I am the founder and CEO of Brand Arrow, a marketing agency helping small businesses grow. And I'm gonna show you the proper way to set up your business manager account. If you don't set up your business manager account properly from the very beginning, you can run into some problems and issues that you know could affect advertising on Facebook or even getting your account banned or there's just so many different things that can happen whenever you're running Facebook ads that you want to make sure that you properly set up things up from the beginning so you can alleviate some of these issues moving forward. This isn't the only way to set up your business manager account, but this is how I would recommend doing it when you're starting out. And without further ado, I'm gonna jump in and show you the first steps to getting started. First thing that you wanna do is, you wanna wanna jump into Facebook. So go to business.facebook.com and it should take you to a screen sim similar to this one. So if you're logged in, you'll end up on a different screen, which I'll go to in a second. But if you are not logged in, you need to log in. And if you don't have a business manager account, you'll wanna go ahead and create an account. I'm not gonna go through these steps right now, but what I'm gonna do is jump into my business manager account and show you what you should see once you have your business manager account set up. So typically Facebook, puts you into the meta business suite, which is what you're seeing right here. But what I wanna show you is the, the business settings view that we want to go into to start setting up your business manager account properly. So if you go to settings, go to more business settings, and you should land on a screen like this. So I wanna start off by telling you if you're looking to run Facebook ads, what you wanna do is make sure that you're running Facebook ads on a business account and not your personal Facebook account. So if you're just getting started, what I wanna do, just show you real quick before we dive in here, when you're running ads, you by default usually have an account set up for you, but it's usually run through your personal Facebook account. So as you can see here, this is a dummy account that I have, John Smith. This here is under my personal Facebook account, but this ad account is under the business account. The reason why you wanna keep these two separate is because say, let's say you're running ads on your personal Facebook account and it gets shut down, it could take out your entire Facebook account. So what we wanna do is separate the two. So you wanna make sure you have your business account set up separate from your personal account. And I'm gonna show you the how to do this. So this is gonna be our business manager account. First thing that I would do, highly recommend doing this, add another admin to your account. So again, dummy account, John Smith, that's me. What you wanna do is add, put the person's email address in here and give them admin access. And you wanna do this because if you ever have issues inside your account and let's say it gets you know maybe you get banned from the account or you know your facebook account gets locked out which happens it's good to have somebody that you can trust have admin access to your account so you can still get in there because think about it you could be running a campaign you know spending tons of money and then if you get locked out you can't go in there and make any adjustments so highly recommend doing this from the very beginning whether you're running ads or not just so you have that person to get access to it next thing that i would re recommend you doing is going down here into business info on the left here. And if you scroll down, you'll see business options, two-factor authentication. So I would highly recommend turning on two-factor authentication for everyone. And the reason why is because one, it will prevent anybody from hacking into your account and just kind of destroying everything. But two, you don't you wanna you want Facebook to trust you and know that you're the one logging into your account and not cause any issues. Cause sometimes you'll get flagged for suspicious activity and whatnot. So the two-factor authentication is really important when you start doing more serious things like running ads and, and stuff like that. So definitely turn on two-factor authentication. Now, 
Now that you have your extra admin added to the account, you get the two-factor authentication turned on. The next thing you wanna do is add a Facebook page to your account. So you can either create a new page, you can request access to a page, or you can add a page that you already own. So if you already have a business going and you already have a Facebook page, all you gotta do is click add a page, search for that page here, like for, like for instance, Brand Arrow, click it and then add it to your business manager. So now that you have that page added to your business manager, you can now control who's um, admin of that account. So like I said, I got myself in here. If you have another admin, you can add them easily and give them access to your Facebook page. But this gives you more control over your Facebook page from this menu versus having to go into Facebook to give those controls. Now that we have the page set up, the second thing you wanna do is set up a ad account. So I already have one in here, but again, you're just gonna go in here and either add an ad account if you already have one and have access to it or create a new one. Now, here's the caveat on creating a new ad account. If you go back down to business info, you will sh it will show you ad account creation limit. So this is a brand new account and I only have the ability to add one ad account which I've already done. So I cannot add another ad account here unless they give me the ability to add more ad accounts. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can, you know, request, you know, support to add ad accounts. Sometimes if you verify your business information, they'll up your ad account. Simply sometimes you just need to warm up that account, start running ads and uh, they can give you more ad accounts. Those are some basic ways. There's more complex ways to, to bring more ad accounts in, but to start out, you usually only get to create one ad account. So keep that in mind when you wanna run ads. Uh, but one account should be plenty fine if you're just starting out. Again, same thing here. You can add people into this ad account. They can control it. You can get access to the ad account by opening the ads manager here. This will dump you right into the ads manager and you'll be able to start running some ads. So the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to add a pixel to your account. So whenever you're doing this, you want to add the pixel from the very beginning. Um, the reason why is because whenever you're starting to collect that data, you can't retroactively go back to get that data. You have to, you have to set the pixel up from the very beginning, add it to your website, any of your landing pages, wherever you wanna track people. Um, get that set up as soon as possible so you can start tracking data. And then the thing with the pixel is the more data the pixel has, the smarter it gets and the better your ads will perform. So highly recommend getting that pixel set up from the very beginning. Now, the next thing you wanna do is go down to brand safety and to domains. And what you wanna do here is you wanna, you wanna add a domain and get it verified. So you simply just type your domain in here. Let's see, I'm just gonna add this fake domain to see if it lets me do it. So when you, once you add the domain, the next thing you need to do is you need to get it verified. So uh, if you go in here, it gives you instructions how to verify it. There's actually a few different options on how to verify it, but go ahead and get that domain verified. It's very important to do that for the next step in this process. Okay, now the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is we wanna set up aggregated event measurements in your pixel. Basically what this is, is this is another way for Facebook to combat some of the Apple issues that they've been having. If you're not familiar with that, um, Apple is making it difficult for Facebook to track their users. Um, you know, good for the end user, but bad for, you know, advertisers that are trying to, you know, target people, target their audience. So if you're starting out with Facebook ads, you'll definitely want to verify your domain and then set up the aggregated event measurement to make sure that if you don't set this up, Facebook basically won't target Apple users or you have a potential of them not targeting users that are using Apple devices. So, which is, could be half of, you know, your target audience. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into your pixel. If you go to events manager here, you'll dive into your, your pixel here. And then you have this tab down here, aggregated event measurement. So what I'm gonna do is configure those web events. I'm gonna go into brand arrow here and give you a quick rundown on, on what you need to do. What you do is you you basically set up the different uh, conversion events on the pixel that you're, you're installing on your site. And you wanna set up the priority of those events too. So the generic way to do it is lowest priority is uh, like for a subscribe or a lead. And you work your way up to highest priority, which is typically purchase, right? So you wanna configure these lowest priority 
to highest priority and you get a maximum of eight events. So like right now, there's only six set up on this one, which is fine. But again, subscribe is a lower, you know, a lower priority than lead. Then they add to cart. And after they add to cart, they initiate the checkout. Uh, maybe they start the trial or um, complete checkout. And then finally purchase. So this is how this one's set up. You can set up any way you want, but again, you wanna do it from lowest priority to highest priority. And you want to have this set up if you want to target Apple users, because you have a chance where they could still deliver ads to iOS users. But if this isn't set up, you usually get an alert saying that, you know, we can't optimize ads for Apple iOS users. Now that we have all those um, items set up in your Facebook business manager account, one last thing that I would recommend doing, you don't have to do. One thing you can do is go into business info and fill out your business details here. And then the, the last thing that you could do is you could also get verified. Now, this is a little bit complex. You have to go through some kind of hoops to get verified, but I'm gonna create a video on that soon. But if you fill out your business details and you get verified by Facebook, all it does is it, it helps um, establish that credibility with Facebook and for them to trust you. So when you're running ads, you know, aren't running issues, get your account banned, or some, some people say that it actually helps optimize your ads because you'll get higher quality um, cost per clicks and they won't charge you as much whenever they're running your ads because they have more trust in, in your account. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but um, definitely recommend, you know, filling all this stuff out. It just, you know, lets Facebook know that you're a legit business and that, you know, they, they can trust you. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, um, like, share, comment down below if you have any other questions. I'm gonna continue making great videos on Facebook ads and marketing in general. Uh, be sure to check out the next video and thank you very much.